Um, speaking of hot goalies, we obviously have to talk about your guys' Washington Capitals. Logan Thompson, maybe Team Canada for Four Nations. We'll see. We'll talk about that a little later in the episode. But give uh, give the fellow listeners uh, your guys' thoughts on how the Caps are doing in Ovi's absence so far. Yeah, after the after dropping the first two without Ovi, we have won four games in a row. Uh, a couple of tough ones too. Some good opponents. Uh, a couple of barn burners, which you know I'm okay with. Um, I thought they've they've looked really good. I, one thing that's been really impressive to me is how the power play has turned around. This power play looked abysmal to start the season uh, with Ovi, even and. Uh, I don't have the stat in front of me, but they've they have skyrocketed from like pretty much dead last in the league to like middle of the pack at this point for power power play percentage across the whole league. Um, and that's doing so without Ovi. I thought they had a really nice power play goal the other night. Um, little little set play, bump it inside to Wilson. Um, there's been some right really good looks. Also, Jacob Tr- Jacob Chikrin. Can we talk about how this guy ha- might have like the best wrist shot in the league? This guy, like I've never seen anybody shoot the puck like that. It's he, insane. It's like not a snapshot, but it's not a wrist shot. It he he doesn't pull his stick back whatsoever. So like for that reason, it's kind of a snapshot. But like he literally just has the puck on his stick and just flicks his wrist, and it's like top corner before before you even know what happened. It, it's it's such a deceptively fast and accurate shot. It's it's really impressive. Got those Popeye forearms, dude. He's just like <laughs> seriously whipping it. He's yeah. a big dude, but he has been unbelievable. And you know, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous now because every time he scores, I just see the money that the Caps are going to have to offer him this off season going up. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, let's let's come off the goal scoring heater here a little bit, buddy. Let's help the bank account out. Yeah, and then we're gonna end up with the freaking Eric Carlson special that uh, the Penguins right, got. Uh, right. So um, step into my office. Yeah, Mac. I want to go back to your point about the power play. It looks so much better, and Chikrin's a big reason why. I'm typically a big proponent of hey, let's get four forwards on this power play, and you know they went with two defensemen. They have Carlson and Chikrin at the point, and not only is that great in terms of a distribution and sort of a protecting that blue line or walking that blue line aspect. Both of those guys, I mean, Carlson probably has the hardest shot on the Washington Capitals, if not Ovi. I mean, it's they're both around, right. what is it, like 103 on average or something like that? Yeah. And then you've got Chick- Chikrin with this flamethrower. And then, like we saw, they're able to work it down low, work it behind the net. You've got Dubois, McMichael, and uh, Willie out there. And Willie looked incredible. I mean, that bang-bang play against the Islanders, I was like four rows off the ice for that one. And it was just beautiful puck movement. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep, excellent stuff. Not to mention the Caps have uh, far and away the most goals scored uh, by any team this year with 101. I think next after that is like 90 or 91. Um, They also have the highest goal differential, plus 32. Uh, Besides the Jets at 31, nobody's even sniffing that. So uh, impressive stuff. 17, 6, and 1 is the current record as we're recording this right now. Fucking crazy. And uh yeah, there's there's a lot to be excited about. The goal scoring's up across the board too. Like Charlie Lindgren is scoring goals too. And this is awesome. <laughs> I mean, he's scoring goals, capitals are still winning games, so uh, you know, obviously a little sketchy moment in Tampa. But I one of my favorite things about that is, you know, it's kind of just a fluke play. Puck bounces, he catches it on the the heel of the two by four that is a goalie stick and just kind of hooks it into his own cage, but just loved watching all the players on the ice go right up to him afterwards, you know, give him the pat, say, hey, don't worry about it. We got you. We need you right now. And the way the team handled it, you know, in the handshake line afterwards, and then the way Carberry handled it in the room and the the postgame speech, I thought was just perfect. And Dude, it just shows what a team this is. I hate how much I love carbs because that is the perfect way to handle that. And he did it. And I'm just like, this guy has these guys clicking and we'll talk. We have a fun little segment later in the show um, that I think everyone will, will like listening to. We'll talk about the caps in it, but um, and, uh, Chikrin Chikrin gave him the, uh, the, the game, the player, of the game. Um, yeah. What is it? The bling and said first NHL tuck. <laughs> I do hope they gave him that puck. 
Yeah, I hope so too. It's that funny. would be really it, funny. It, the beauty of it is it's one of those things where, you know, a lot of goalies, if, if that had happened to them, it's something they could maybe laugh at weeks, if not months later. Uh, but he gets the easy way out and is able to laugh at it the same night because the boys uh, rallied and, and got the W, so it didn't matter. Did one of you guys already read the uh, egregious December schedule thing about the uh, Not the yet. But no, uh, that's schedule makers are at it again. Yeah, yeah very brutal. Uh, a rough December incoming uh, in terms of travel and back to backs for the for the Caps. They've got thirteen games in the month of December, and eight of them are back to backs. That's wild. It's over half. It's a lot in so, December. Uh, yeah, get the CBD oil ready. I guess Christ, that's a that's a lot of hockey. But... Gonna need it. Any other comments on the Caps before I uh, go on some unhinged spew about how the Penguins might actually be back? Did we already mention that Ovi was on the ice today? I forget if we said that, but did not. Probably worth sweats. noting. In sweats by himself, did a light skate, but nonetheless, great to see that. He broke his leg two weeks ago and he's skating in sweatpants. That's absolutely insane to me. Yeah. Uh, only other thing about the Caps I'll add is I've loved how Miro has looked the last couple of games, especially that Islanders game. He was, you know, third and fourth line, aggressive, gritty, chippy, getting in people's faces, making great plays along the wall. Love what I'm seeing out of 63. Yep. Couldn't agree more. 